guys, what's up? It's me, Carrie. Um, I'm going to start off being blatantly honest because I can't help but be that with you guys. I'm having a really, really shitty day. Um, I don't really feel too great. I've got a bit of a cold or flu or something that I've had for almost a week and I'm hoping I'm getting over it soon, but it's making me kind of cranky and my throat's kind of scratchy. So if I cough or clear my throat, forgive me. Um, but mostly it's my depression. Um, if you don't know much about clinical depression, it just, that just happens sometimes. You just have shitty days for like literally no apparent reason. And today's one of them, I guess. Um, it's kind of rainy outside, but weather doesn't really impact my moods all too much. Um, I don't actually mind a, a, a nice rainy day every once in a while, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't have an answer as to why I'm, I'm sad, but I am, so... With that out of the way, I may not have my usual enthusiasm for this video, but I still wanted to shoot it for you guys because I wanted to get something productive done. And I have quite a few lip balms here that I've um, been purchasing over the past, I guess, month, month, month or two. I don't know. I can't even keep track. But anyway, um, I've stockpiled some to do a big review video. First impressions more. I'm not going to test everything out completely. I'm just going to do sniffs and show you and stuff. But anyway, I digress. Um... It took me a really, really long time to find the um, the Well at Walgreens, the three latest uh, scents that they came out with. One of them, um, I think I showed you guys already, that was the, um, what the hell is it, coconut something? God, I can't even think, my mind is a blank today, but um, I showed you that one already, I'm pretty sure. It's open and in with my stash, but um, here I have uh, Cucumber Mint which I was thrilled to finally find, not at my usual Walgreens. It was nowhere to be found near me at the usual couple that I check. Um, I don't know why New York does not seem to get an awful lot of uh, Revos, and it's frustrating, and, uh, you know, it's, I'm just told, you know, they're randomly distributed, you know, I, it just seems weird that it would be random, you know, it should be based on where there's, you know, demand for them, and every time I go into a Walgreens and ask about Revos, you know, they, the salespeople will tell me, God, you're like the 10th person to ask about this, so clearly, Revo or Labs, if you're watching this, the demand is in New York, it's on Long Island, trust me, we want them, so please, please ship here, but anyway, this is, again, the Cucumber mint and it's really pretty I love the packaging on this one it's like a pearlescent kind of um, lime green really really pretty and um, let me open it up and I'm a little congested so I may not be able to do the sniff test as well as I typically would but I just really felt like doing a video today it's like a light light shimmery minty green okay I am actually getting scents of both the cucumber and the mint that's really cool I didn't think I would especially with a stuffy nose but again, I'm not going to apply everything now because I feel yucky and I don't want to germ everything up. But um, it does smell really nice, though. And it does smell like cucumber and mint. Usually, if it's like a dual fragrance like that, one scent will read like stronger than the other. And I can smell them both equally. Next up is French Vanilla, which I know I'm going to love because I'm a sucker for all things vanilla. And Sky Blue is my absolute favorite color. This is gorgeous. I love the packaging. I hope that they continue to do this pearlescent look. I think this is really probably the prettiest one I've ever seen of a Revo. But um, anyway, so yeah, it's Sky Blue, Blue Lid. Blue sticker on the lid, I mean. Okay, and it's this pretty blue that's almost the color of the packaging, a little bit lighter, a little bit frosty looking. Mmm. Okay, yeah, that smells really, really good. It almost smells... I don't know. There's more to it than vanilla. It's like creamier than a typical vanilla. I don't know, almost... It smells like a French vanilla coffee creamer, kind of. You know, it's definitely get that French vanilla scent, whatever that means. But yeah, it's different than just plain old vanilla. I really like that one, too. So, yay! Okay, next up, guys, the Dunkin' Donuts set. I have yet to find the original Dunkin' Donuts set that came in hazelnut and French vanilla. It came out last year. We never got it in New York. Surprise! We never get it, we're not getting this one in New York, either. I've been to, like, five Dunkin's and not found them. I got this... Actually, when I happened to be on vacation in Mystic, Connecticut, the day they came out, I asked about them, and they hadn't even put them out on the floor yet, and one of the salespeople was like, oh, I don't think we have those, and this one other guy was like, oh, yeah, I think we saw those in the back. Did you want the pumpkin or the coffee? And I'm like, I showed a picture that I had seen um, someone on Instagram had shared. I can't remember which of my pals it was. Um, 
I don't know, it might have been Lip Balm Addict, it might have been Lisa and Beauty, I can't remember, but it was one of those two girls, I think, that shared the photo, but I showed them the photo on my phone, and they went in the back and got it, and long story short, I have it, and I'm super stoked, and then they put the display out after I asked about it. But um, I'm still desperately hunting for the original pack. But like I said, I don't know, again, what it is about New York, Long Island specifically, why we don't get this stuff. But it really bums me out. It's so frustrating because, I mean, if I hadn't found this in Connecticut, I'd be, you know, having friends search the world or buying on the secondary market. And that sucks. But anyway, so you get coffee and pumpkin. And I love the packaging. They're so, so cute. And I live in Dunkin'. I mean, I literally live in Dunkin'. I love their coffee so much. Their iced coffee in particular. This is the coffee. Just original coffee flavor. It just twists up. And it's brown. I do smell coffee. It's not particularly strong scented. But I do like it. It smells really nice. And again, I'm sorry I'm not swatching or applying. Because I don't feel good. And I really don't want to get everything all gross. But, And here's the pumpkin. And it's like a burnt orange kind of color. Like um, like if you look in a Crayola crayon box, it's either orange, red, or red, orange. Whichever one is the deeper reddish color, that's what this looks like to me. And I'm really not smelling it at all. Alright, I lied. This one I'm going to actually swatch on my hand because I'm not getting really any scent at all. And I, I know it's got to be in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting it a little bit now. It actually is really nice. It's light, but I do like it. So yay, I'm thrilled to have these for my collection, being a Duncan fan and a lip balm fan. Okay, this one um, I got for free. This is Pogo Certified Organic Lip Balm in Split Banana. They were doing a promotion, Echo Lips actually, I think. Well, it says pogobomb.com is their website. So I don't know if Pogo is the actual name or Echo Lips, but um, they were doing a promotion on their site that you could get um, one for free. Um, I don't think the offer is still going, but I'm not sure. I honestly don't remember even the link to how I got it because, again, it was shared on Instagram in a, um, a message with a group of lovely people that I discuss lip balm with. But anyway, um, it is Split Banana. I'm going to have to put a sticker on it somewhere because once you peel off the wrapper, it doesn't have the name, which is a pet peeve of mine. I hate that Revo and, and EOS do that, too. I really like the name of the flavor to be on the packaging. But I usually put on little... Um, like little round stickers like that you would use for like a yard sale or something. I have those and I usually stick them right on the bottom of my Revos. It might not fit on here, but I'll figure out something. But anyway, split banana. I'm going to keep the packaging for now so I can remember to label it. The top just twists off like this. This is the first time I've had one of these. Okay, and this is what the balm looks like. It's a decent amount in there. It's really cute. Oh, it smells amazing. Okay, yeah, it smells exactly like banana runts, which are my favorite runts candies. I'm such a weirdo because I love, 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 love banana scented and flavored things, but I hate actual bananas. I know, that's so stupid, but it's true. I think it's a textural thing. They're mushy and I don't know. I just don't like them. I don't mind them if they're frozen and dipped in chocolate, however. I've tried that when I lived in Florida and I used to go to Disney. Um, That tastes pretty good. And I like banana bread. Like, I just like an actual like peeling a banana and eating a banana I would never do it they're just nasty to me go figure all right next up I have um a new chapstick it is in sugar cookie and I found this at Walmart for a dollar um I'm excited for this one what I really like too I I mean I'm I'm, I'm bummed that they put so much of the star design on the plastic label because usually those come off. But I do like that they put the name and a star cookie on the actual, like, chapstick container itself. Because then once I open it and this plastic lid comes off, you know, the covering on the lid, it stays on for a little while sometimes. But I usually pull them off just to keep my chapsticks uniform because, I, you know, I'm that way. But um, I like that it's got the name on it and the little design on the packaging too. But it's clear. Let me smell this. Mmm. It smells like a sugar cookie. Like exactly like what you would think if you were to have like a sh cookie with, you know, just a simple sugar cookie with like the little colored or cleared sprinkles on it. That's what it smells like delish. So I'm hoping these will have tastes to have flavors. Um, no, I don't eat my lip balm, but I like, you know, when I lick my lips, I like to have a taste from the, the lip balm as well as the scent. So, so far, everything smells really nice. 
All right, this one is another one I got in Connecticut. It's by a brand called Mad Gabs, and this happens to be turtle smooch and chocolate. Um, I go to Mystic um, every fall now. I've done that, well, th past three of the past four years I've gone, and I'm assuming I'll go next year, too. Um, and last year I got one. It was, I think, moose smooch and cranberry. So this year I went for turtle smooch. Chocolate is one of my favorite things, so I couldn't, you know, I couldn't help myself. I had to do that. Ooh, interesting. I thought it might have color, but it is actually clear. And this one actually is 98.5% organic ingredients. That's kind of neat. Does it have SPF? Uh, it does not, but that's okay. Let me give this a sniff. Wow. Okay, that's a serious bummer. I smell literally nothing. Let me try swatching this on my hands because I'm hoping there'll be some scent in there. Yeah, wow, now there's like the tiniest hint of generic sweet, but it doesn't smell like chocolate. I'm super, super bummed. That's very disappointing. That's the first one that's been a super letdown. So yeah, boo, whatever. It's life. All right, and these guys, um... The, the last five I have remaining, um, there's two two-packs and one single pack I got from Sears. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to love these because I did buy one that looks like this in the little candle packaging from Sears. This was a dollar. It's by Taste Beauty. Um, last year I bought one of these from Sears and while it felt fairly moisturizing, it had very little scent and even less flavor. In fact, I don't think it had any flavor. It was just laxy. But um, this one is Sweet Perfect Pear, and I really don't have any pear lip balms, I don't think. Pear is one of my favorite fruits. I love the scent, so I'm really hoping that this one will smell and taste better than last year's, which I think was, I don't know, cucumber melon maybe? Yeah, it didn't really have much going on. I mean, for nothing else, the packaging is adorable. I love the little lid. It looks like an actual metal screw-on lid for like a jar candle, so let's see. And it does say flavored lip balm, so... We shall see, at least as far as scent goes. It is the typical pear color, I guess, that you would expect. Hmm. It does smell really good. It smells fruity. Like, if I were blindfolded, I wouldn't guess pear, but it does have a really nice fruity scent, so I'm cautiously optimistic that it'll actually have some flavor, too. I'm happy with that. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm sniffing. All right, and these two, um, I may get more of these because the packaging was super, super cute, but I didn't want to spend a ton if I wasn't going to be happy with them. But um, I got this duo here for two bucks, orange juice and maple bacon. I just couldn't not. I mean, the fucking bacon has a mustache. Come on, are you kidding me? And look at the cute little picture on the orange juice. I just, how can I not? They're, they're just too damn cute. Um... They have, like, some cereal duos that come with, like, a cereal and milk. And the milk, I believe, um, ones are uh, actually vanilla scent and flavored. So I may go back and get one of those. I don't think I need them all because I don't need three of the same. And all the milk ones are going to be the same. But I may go back and get one cereal one, mostly. I was trying to be good. But there's the orange juice and the maple bacon. And this is probably going to smell gross. And I really hope I can tear it in such a way that the sticker doesn't come off. I'm going to try to just sort of fold it to the front because I really don't want to lose that sticker. It's perforated so I'm going to try to tear it super carefully and I say if I can get that. Okay cool because I didn't want to lose that. I just think that's so so cute. There is the bomb. It's red and it's weird. It's okay. It's square but it's got like a little round turny thing in the rectangle. It's got like a little turny thing in the middle there. I was going to say how are you going to turn a rectangle? That's what the bomb looks like. And let's say, ooh, it feels weird at the bottom. It's like greasy. That's kind of weird, but okay. Hmm. It smells kind of like oil. Or like the grease that bacon would be cooked in. Yeah, it smells pretty gross. Not horrible, not as bad as some that I've smelled, but yeah, not, not a favorite for scent, but it's too cute. How could I not have this? So yeah. <coughs> higher hopes excuse me for um orange juice again there's the packaging so adorable and it's square at the bottom and it's got those same little round turny thing and this one you can just peel off the cover of the milk so there it is inside let's roll it up a little bit this one does not feel greasy on the outside that's the color mmm 
that does smell really orangey. I like that a lot. That actually is an awesome, awesome orange scent. I like that. Okay, I'm super happy with that one. I hope it has flavor too, but even if it's just scent, I'm super stoked. That one's super, super cute. Okay, and last up, guys, I have one more Taste Squad duo, and this one, again, I had to have because it's too damn cute. You get the Juice Box in Strawberry Kiwi and the PB&J, like, um, like the Goober Grape that they make. I think Smuckers makes Goober Grape where it's the peanut butter and grape jelly combined. I personally am a strawberry preserves girl. That's my very favorite for PB&J, and I like crunchy peanut butter. My husband's a, um, a grape fan. But um, this was the only one they had, and it's still too cute for words. And I don't dislike Goober Grape. I just prefer strawberry. But anyway, let's see what the dealio is with these two. Let's see, let's see. I may go back and get more, actually. These are better. I think they were a different brand last year. I don't think they were a Taste Beauty, but... All right, let's do this one first since it's in my hand. Again, PB&J. It's got the peanut butter, the grape jelly, and a little knife. And it looks just like a little goober jar. You just twist off the lid. Okay, that's weird. It's like really like crystallized on top. That's kind of gross. I'm gonna try to wind it so you can see. I hope you can see. It's like really nasty looking on top. I don't know why it, it's like that. Ooh, I don't know if it just got melty and hardened. I don't know. It's kind of blurry, but that's kind of gross. So I'm going to swatch on my hand to get rid of that ickiness. Hopefully it'll like even out. That's really nasty looking. I mean, I don't think it's been contaminated or anything, but it, it just looks gross. It smells pretty good though. I don't usually swatch this much, but I really want this smoothed out because that's gross. I may just end up like wiping it with a tissue too because yeah, it still looks a little bit foobard, but it does smell good. I'm not getting as much peanut butter as grape, but that's okay. Um, yeah, the scent is pretty nice. It's very oily consistency. I don't know if you can see on my hand, but it's really greasy, but whatever, you know. And I'm going to wipe my hands on this because I don't have a napkin or anything handy. I didn't expect it to be greasy. Look at how it's making like grease marks on there. Ew, that's kind of gross, but whatever. It was $2 for two olive. And this is the strawberry kiwi juice box with a little straw on top. So adorable. Again, packaging had me on this one. All right, let's see if I can even get this. We'll try with my non-greasy hand. Okay, there is the balm. It's red, as you would probably expect. And you twist that bad boy up. Oh, it's like making this weird popping sound like it doesn't want to twist any higher. Oh, leave it to me. Did I get a broken one? That would just fucking figure. It's that kind of day. Whatevs. Okay. I'm going to swatch it on this hand because that hand's all goopy and goobery. See if you get any color. Oh, you do. Yeah, you actually get a lot of red color. That's interesting. I didn't necessarily expect that. It's an okay scent. It's not great. Again, I wouldn't necessarily know it was strawberry kiwi. I probably wouldn't, but it's a it's a nice scent. It's a sweet scent. It's pleasant, and the red is nice. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So, overall, all right, I'm digging this one. This one I'd like a lot better if it didn't look nasty and gross on top, so I'm not sure what that's all about. So that's going to go on the mess side. Really liked the orange. The pear was pretty decent. Maple bacon, nasty. Sugar cookie, fantastic. Duncan's, pretty good. They'll go on the good side. Definitely Pogo on the good side. I love that banana scent. The chocolate, nah, can't, can't really. I gotta put that on the bad side because it may be nice texture and everything, but it's got no scent. And the two Walgreens, Revos, yes, good. So overall, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good, and three bad. So, and bad doesn't necessarily mean I hate them, because I don't. I, this one I kind of do, but I like it for the packaging. This one is just there. It's just kind of a non-entity. And this one, again, I just, it tweaks me out that it was like weird and crystallized on top. I don't know what the hell that's about, but anyway... 
I'm not like a massive germaphobe. I'm, I'll use it after I wipe it with a tissue and clean off the top of it because I don't think there's anything legit wrong with it. But um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was somewhat informative, if nothing else. Um, I apologize for the lack of enthusiasm and the kind of meh attitude, but I'm, I'm always going to shoot straight with you guys, and I'm not ever going to be like, you know, woohoo, let's party up, it's just video time, you know, because I'm not that girl. Even when I'm in a good mood, I'm not that girl. I'm kind of low-key, and, you know, I mean, yes, I get stoked easily about toys and fun things, and I'm in a good mood, and I guess that's somewhat peppy, but <laughs> today, yeah, I'm not that girl. Um... But, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, please give a comment as to which of these lip balms you're most interested in trying. Or if you have tried them, let me know your thoughts. And um, please subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoyed what you saw today. Um, you get a mixed bag at Butterfly's Landing. You'll get, you know, you'll always get the truth, though. That's the one, that's the one common thread that will run through every video I ever shoot, is I will be 100% honest with you about whatever I'm thinking or feeling or going through. So, um, if that's something you're into, definitely stick around. You're in the right place. Um, all right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a really good day, and, um, it's Friday, so enjoy your weekends. Take care. Bye.